flash. They're off in a flash. Savers of split seconds and precious lives. Doughty fighters answering yet another call to do battle with that mortal enemy of man, fire. Joining issue with the professional firemen in these momentous days are the auxiliaries. And the regulars are the first to praise the grand work they're doing. Not only in London, but in every part of the country that has stood up to the Blitz, these temporary firefighters have shared risk for risk with the old hands. The AFS men are worthy of the fine service to which they, for the moment, belong. Some of the auxiliaries in civil life are artists, like Matvin Wright, and they've already held an exhibition of their work in London. Many of their subjects are scenes of the actual fires they have attended. Of course, there's painting and painting. Leonard Rossiman is a teacher at a Westminster art school, and he specializes in portraits. Norman Heppel is another well-known London artist. Give him a station officer and a modicum of charcoal, and he'll produce a very faithful portrait. Exactly how faithful, you can see for yourself. But the men haven't all the limelight. Miss Prunella Pott is a staff car driver and an expert in tempera work. She studied art in Paris. A portrait of Miss Prunella by Miss Pott. The only trouble with these chaps, apart from painting, is that they will get into bad company. Our fireman artists are men of letters too, mostly letters of fire. Albert Turpin has exhibited at the Tate Gallery and he has a taste for the dramatic in art. His present study is a vivid portrayal of a big riverside blaze. Another station officer makes a good sitter to Paul de Salle, who in peacetime is a book illustrator. He and several of the others have had their pictures purchased for the nation. This modern spring-heeled jack is really George. Senior Fireman George France at your service. He's a sculptor, and those who are competent to judge say that his model of a fireman in action is a masterpiece of strength and realism. These are the men who, in a national emergency, have forsaken the pallet for the pump. Temporary firefighters, but permanent artists. Thanks to their art, the more tragic moments of the war have been captured by brush and canvas for all time. On the night most of these scenes were taken, there were hundreds of fires in London alone. Sixteen firemen were killed and 250 injured. Yes, they were there, all there. And it was pretty grim while it lasted. But art, like many other professions, can produce its heroes.